today we're going to be doing a full tour of our theater and I'll be linking everything in the theater in the description below so you can check it out. So here we go. I'm going to start up front before we move to the back of the theater. So you can see the clips speakers here and the subwoofer and the screen and we have the curtains and right above it you'll actually see that there's a slot that it can slide all the way across so i'll link all of this in the description below so if you're interested in this team same type of setup i'll show you quickly that they actually do slide across and you can turn off the projector um, you can have full curtain coverage here on the screen so we have that set up here and I'll turn around so that we can see the projector and the clip speakers on the back and we have the lighting for the steps we have some awesome Lutron switches in here these are uh, the black switches and the third one for the steps is the low voltage so that it works with the super low pull of the step lights. And once I get to the back, I will use the reboot Lutrons that we have back here so that you can see what the theater looks like in the appropriate lighting. But I wanna go over everything first that we have in the theater and show you the different devices so that you can see it in the light here. So we have the Epson projector here and we have the mount above it again. I'll link all this in case you're interested in anything. We have the Sony receiver. We have a Roku, the Apple TV 4K, the PS5, the Sony DVD and Blu-ray player. And then we have a desktop computer as well, hooked up to everything. So we have the full, the full setup here. A lot of Sony products, Apple product, um, you know, uh, Roku, so we have a, a variety there. So I'm going to move here to the back and here we see all the remotes but we'll focus in on the Lutron. So we have the step lights here, I'm going to save those for last and then we have the front and back lights. So the front lights are this one right here. So I'll turn this one off. Let me pull it up and you'll see that once I click it it starts to dim and turns those lights out. What we actually do is we'll dim these in the back, this is the back remote, if we're going to eat back here while we're watching a movie. So we'll just dim it down to this 1% here, and you can see it's plenty of light to see the, the food, but it's also a, you know, a pretty good theater experience. I'm gonna show you when we dim the steps what that looks like. So you can see that gives a nice, just soft glow there. And then we can move over here and look at the back. When you turn off the lights, you can see it's instantaneous that you get this theater um, experience. I do need to run a little bit of weather stripping or something along the door there to keep that little bit of light out that is out there. But it's not, not too much. Hey Google, turn off the basement lights and there you can see it without any lights on out there. We also usually just keep it dimmed and you don't get that, that light in here. Um, the step lights look a little brighter on the video than what they actually are. They're just enough that they aren't distracting, but they uh, do go ahead and let you see to walk down through. And the video up front is a 10 foot screen, so it's plenty large. It's not qu coming through quite with the colors that, that it would look like, but I'll see if I can just scroll a little bit. I'm not gonna put anything on that we'd have any uh, issues with for copyright purposes, but just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. This is just on the Apple TV. So you can see the information here 
And again, I think the phone's light, lightening up everything a little bit, but it's a pretty good um, setup on what everything looks like and gives you a good idea as to what um, you know what's available here. So if you liked the video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Again, I'm going to link everything in the description below. If there's anything that you would like to have, you know, a more in-depth video about, please make sure you comment and let me know so that I have a chance to go back and, and look at that and make a video that, that you'd be interested in regarding those subjects. Thank you.